welcome to another construction video. This one is for Tonic's 2022 birthday week set, the Big Top Carousel gift box. I'm going to show you how to make the actual version with the gift box compartments inside it and it's using um, this large die set which is the, the carousel gift box. If you want an up close look at all of the dies that are included within the die set then check out my up close video which should go up before this so you might have already seen it. Um, but this is just going to be a construction video. I have partly constructed it already because it is very repetitive. There's just five sections that are all the same kind of section. So I'm going to show you how to put one section together, um, possibly even sticking two sections together and then showing you how to attach the base and the kind of pointed lid to it as well. You can also, as well as doing the one I'm going to show you, can, you can also actually do just the carousel version or you can actually put this on top of the one that I'm going to show you how to do. So at the end I'll bring this back in and show you how it will fit on top of it. Obviously you don't put the base on this one if you are going to put it on top, but you can definitely do that and for this one you will need far less pieces you don't need any of um which pieces is it any of these pieces here to create the um the carousel one you just need to cut out the horses and stuff instead but there are full instructions that come inside the packet for this so this is just like um a video version in case you're a little bit unsure of how the instructions are telling you how to put it together. So I'm going to quickly run through how many of each piece you're going to need to create um, the one that I'm going to show you how to put together. So I'm showing you how to put together the one with all of the compartments in the bottom of it that you can actually um, turn into an advent calendar or something if you want to as well. It does have uh, 10 compartments in it but you could easily stack two on top of each other to get 20 compartments or even stack um, two of the whole main portion together and try and fudge the die set to then get an extra stack and make it 25 tall and then that would be the perfect advent calendar as well but I'm just showing you how to make the basic one with the boxes in which is what the instructions also tells you how to put together but to do this you need 10 of this piece here which will create like the cubby portions of the sort of main body of the box. You will need five of these pieces here, which actually hold all of these bits together. You will need five of these pieces here, which create your um, sloping kind of pitched roof to your actual project. You will also need ten of these pieces, which actually hold the roof onto the main uh, body of the box. Then for the drawer systems or the kind of flick out uh, box portions you will actually need um, 10 of this piece and 10 of this piece as well and this piece kind of in houses this piece and um, creates that little flick out mechanism so that these drawer portions will stay inside the box but you can use this little finger pull to kind of flick them out as well so those are all of the main pieces and then you will also need the base for it as well you don't have to put a base on it but it just finishes it off really nicely to have a base on and the base is actually made up of five pieces that look like this. I just got carried away and stuck them all together already but you'll need five um, cuts for the base as well and you just put them all together to create your actual base portion. So I've started to construct quite a bit of this already because it is um, a lengthy sort of repetitive kind of construction um, but let's show you how to create the sort of main um, base that these pieces will fit into so this is what these pieces are for to create this main kind of base and I've actually folded mine backwards so I'm putting the professional side of the card on the inside so I folded them like this and then this will be the top and this one will be the bottom um, because you're going to stick a base on the bottom and you're going to stick the roof on the top so it doesn't matter and you might as well put the professional side on the inside because as you flick the compartments out you can see inside the box a little bit as well so to put this together you're actually going to use those two glue tabs there to secure these together so we can just take the tape off of those two and you can see where I put the tape on all of these it's on these two glue tabs here and then those two little skinny glue tabs and we can actually just um, you'll want you want to line up if I zoom in a little bit more it'd be easier you want to line up this straight edge here with um, that straight edge there whilst also lining up that glue tab along that line there as well and then you can press that into place then we can flip that one underneath and we also want to press that into place too. So you've now got this portion here which actually creates the like compartment 
that all of your other elements sort of fit inside of. So this is actually one fifth of the box and you're going to have, um, you're going to repeat this basic shape five times to create the whole portion of the box. So um, we've got that looking all right to begin with. Then the draw mechanism pieces are going to go inside this so we don't want there to be any glue tabs to interfere with that. So we actually want to stick our glue tabs on the outside which is why that tape was on the professional edge of the, um, the die cut. So we can now take this off and stick one of them onto here. We're going to leave the top of it open for now because it's going to uh, make it much easier for putting the rest of the mechanism inside. But you can see how this is coming together and you'll have five of these going round to give you a um, ten-sided sort of shape because this kind of has two sides to it already. So we're going to do that five times. I'll show you it quickly again because I need to do two more of them. I, I have already done three of them though and put them all together already but I'll just show you again we're just taking that off of there really really simple and then just lining that glue tab up underneath, underneath that one and pressing it into place and the same with that one and then just doing the bottom um, glue tab for this and pulling it round to secure it into place. We've now got our second one of these and the idea is that these are all going to stick round in a circle and these will be stuck flat as well and that's where our roof will adjoin onto. So that's what we've uh, done to begin with, we've started that but now we need to actually build the rest of our drawers to go inside. Now I have already built all of my drawers so I'm just going to show you with some white card how to do this but I have got a couple um, cut out ready. This is where you want the tape on and there is a little bit of tape on the other side as well so take a note of where the tape is on these. It's on this portion, these two glue tabs and this portion here and then on this one we've got tape here and two little bits there. There's a whole big rectangle there you basically just want to cover that and then on the back of this one you also need tape here and here as well. I don't think there's any on the back of that, no. That's just all plain on the back of that but you need that on the back and the front. That's where you need to put the adhesive on these ones and you'll be doing that ten times because you need to make ten of these to create the one sort of gift box. So we want to pre-fold all of these and we're doing everything is going away from us for now and we'll mess around with the other score lines as we need them but for now we're just going to fold everything away from us so that we've got the professional edge um, always pointing up as we're folding. And we just make sure all of those are really good creases and there are some extra score lines along here which actually create the mechanism for the box to sort of pop out as you pull it with the finger pull. So this bit is very clever the way this kind of works. It's a little bit tricky though so I have kind of got another one that I've drawn on so you can actually see where they're supposed to be stuck. And then this one as well, same thing, everything is folding away from us. So we've got the, as you fold, you see the professional edge popping up at you. And we just want to make sure they're all really well folded. And we've got this one. And this is actually our little draw piece here. As you can see, it's got um, a, a finger pull or a thumb pull in it, so that we can actually easily flick this little drawer out to be able to put something um, inside it or get something out of it as well. So we'll start with this piece. Um, so we need to fold this together. This is really simple. It's literally just like a normal box that you will pull this one up to there, pull this round, glue those tabs on and then stick the final side in and we're just going to end up with a little box piece. So we'll do that. And rem remember you're repeating this ten times so by the time you have done uh, the first couple of these you'll be able to do this with your eyes shut it, you know you're going to be repeating it quite a few times so we just fold that one up like so and then follow this round and that one there and then that last edge just there which gives you the the thumb pull for this as well so now we've got that piece put together that is our draw piece 
we can put that to one side whilst we finish putting this one together. Now, to put this together, it's quite a, a weird sort of design, but basically, where we've put adhesive on the back of here, and where we have adhesive here, that is going what, what we're going to use to attach our drawer into there. So we don't need those when we're putting the box together. We do need um, this piece here, and this is actually going to be like the side tab that pulls this box together. So that's what we're going to do first. This is that large square piece and we want to take the backing off of that and we want to line this up so we're sort of making that corner of the box and that's sort of bringing this piece together and then eventually we are going to stick this down as well but firstly we need to stick our drawer inside of here um, or our little box piece inside of here and it's going to attach here and here. I've got one um, that's at the exact same stage as this but I've already drawn on this where those tabs are going to stick so if you get confused by the instructions there is a little bit difficult to follow the instructions I did manage to follow them obviously to figure it out but um, if you're not that good at following written instructions um, this might help you uh, of where to put the bits and pieces as we're putting this together so this is the draw piece, that is where the little thumb pull is. This is the two curves, this is the front of the box, this is what you will decorate. And then the next side round is where these glue tabs are going to stick. So the first one is going to stick here to hold the draw into the mechanism. And then this glue tab round here with this weird bit of folded card on it is going to stick there. So that where that red liner tape is, that is going to stick there and that is going to create this mechanism to allow this box to sort of pull out at you so when the lid is down you can still access what's inside there. So I'll do it on the one I haven't marked first so that I can still show you the one that I've marked. But basically we're going to take that tape off and then we're taking our drawer and it's just here that we want to stick that to. So we're going to line this up and stick that just there like that and then that is going to push inside here you see and then we've got this portion which um, the way you want to fold it you want to fold that first one back like that and then you want to make sure this is folding towards you and then that one is again folding like so so you're kind of folding it like this if you can see that, I think you can see how that's folding. So that is where we've stuck it and then that's folding backwards and round and then this piece here is going to stick here. So we want that to stick onto there. So we can now take the tape off of here and we want to stick this onto here. and press that into place and that is what's going to make our little mechanism so you see when you push it back in it holds it in place and then you pull it forwards and the drawer can come out so that is how you make your little drawer mechanism and then you can seal this into place by taking the red liner tape off of the inside of this glue tab and we're going to pull this round and use that to secure that final side so we've now got our little drawer and we've actually got that pull out mechanism on there as well and that is how the little drawers work and you're going to need 10 of these I'll show you that again where to stick it to so um, remember you've got your box like this you've got your red liner tape here and you've got it over here as well and you've got these two areas on this portion so this is where the thumb tab is these are the two front sides of the box and it's just here we want to stick that big tab to So we want to take the back of this off. Again, once you've got on, um, got through like, I don't know, three or four of these, you'll know exactly where to stick all of the bits and pieces. Um, so you've got that first piece is stuck in there. And then remember, we want that little red liner piece to stick just there on our box. So we can now take this off of here. And we want that to stick just on that portion of the box press that into place and then we've got our draw mechanism again and you'll see actually um, it's not quite holding in when you don't have it shut you need this top piece to be shut to actually hold this in place and I haven't actually put the tape on this one but I will get a piece of tape so that I can show you so if I put that on there cut the excess off
and if I take this off you'll see how bringing that pushing that in so push it up so it's all lined up here fold that over and then bend that round oh I could get it in the right place bend that round and then that actually holds the drawer in place now you can see how when you push it back in it stays in place and this is how um, we create all of our drawers and we're actually going to stack them too high um, for the actual container but if you repeated this whole container section two and a half times you would get 25 little drawers and it would be five tall and you could make the perfect advent calendar and even have a spot for Christmas day as well um, and you could even put a carousel on top of it too and um, I mean carousels can definitely be Christmassy or you could swap out and instead of putting the little horses inside the, um, the little apertures you could take a Christmas character, you could have penguins going around it, you could have reindeer, um, anything you want to really and you could change it out and have different characters or animals going around it. So this is how we create our drawers. And I have already got the other four drawers here that I need to finish making mine. And I've already decorated them. You can see how you decorate them there. And actually on the inside of mine, I just took, um, I just measured that height, cut a stripper card to the right height, cut them to the depth and then just put it inside because you can see through that little thumb hole. And I thought it looked quite nice to... Uh, have a little peekaboo of the blue colour that I've used on the rest of this um, sort of carousel box as well. Okay, so the next thing to do to these pieces is we want to add some adhesive onto these so that um, we can easily stick them together. So I'm going to use wet glue as well, but I want to just make sure they're going to stay nicely stuck along these front edges. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of red liner tape on the front of two of them that will be at the bottom of the little stack of two of each of them just to make sure we're going to get a nice strong bond here and I think I'm going to put um, do a similar thing down the front edges of all of them as well just to make sure we're going to get a nice um, flush kind of bond around those edge pieces and I might actually even put a piece straight over that glue tab there as well just to make sure it's going to stay nicely stuck too. So I'm sticking a bit at the front here, a couple of bits at the front of the two bottom ones and then um, a little bit along there like that as well. Just to make sure we're going to get a really good strong bond for this because um, especially if you were going to make it an advent calendar um, it's going to be something that's going to come out year after year so you want to make sure it's going to be nice and sturdy and going to last and everything okay so now we've got the adhesive on these we've got our two little towers ready to sort of finish off this box I'm going to move them to one side and I'm going to bring both of these back in because we need to um oh there is tape on there we need to put extra pieces onto these first as well. So if I bring in this portion, which is what I've already put together, this is three of them stuck together, in between each one of these segments we have this piece here, which looks like this. And you can see on one side it sits between the two portions that we're going to stack on top of each other to hold them into place. But on the other side it is stuck in, but it's gone in before the drawers, you see. It's um, this side of the light grey cardstock of the drawer, so we need to make sure we we stick that in first so on both of these ones that we've already started to put together we want to stick it onto that side so the lid is flapping up this way that's going to be the base and we want to stick it onto that side with the solid tab because the two individual tabs are going to go onto the next box to hold it into place it actually just covers up um, the join so where uh, you would normally see the edge of two stuck together, we're going to cover up that join with this piece, which just gives it a lovely, neat kind of finish. Um, and I think it's one of those little extra things that Tonic always does that just really make their die sets stand out from any other company's die sets because they always think about uh, trying to hide those sort of workings and messy edges and stuff. So we've now got that and that one done as well. Now we can stick our drawers inside these pieces. So if we bring these over we want to stick this bottom piece into here but we also want to stick both edges and um, yeah, the bottom and both edges. We'll, we'll deal with the top in a second. So I've got this little bit of tape 
on there and we've got these two bits of tape over here as well so firstly we want to remove the backing off of any tape that we've put on there then oops not the whole piece of tape just the backing then we can add some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive onto here as well so we want to add it to the bottom of this piece So we're going to get a good strong bond on there and we also want to add it over that tape so we can manoeuvre it around a little bit and all over the side panels as well because we want everything to stay stuck in there nicely and I do recommend um, clips at this point as well we're going to use some clips to hold this into place so we can just slide that right in at the bottom and then we can pull the drawer out slightly and we can use a couple of clips just to hold it on there and um, we can't quite clip this side because of the way the whole box goes together but we can just press nice and firmly and press on the bottom as well but as long as we've got at least a couple of clips holding it into that right position we can um, you know make sure that that's nicely stuck in there so that's the first one in we'll do the first one on the other box as well so again we're taking off any tape we've put on the two sides of the box and then we're going to add our glue on the sides and the bottom as well. So we can go straight over that tape on the other side and then on the bottom as well. Then we can put that one in as well. So sliding it right in so it's butting right up inside the box. There'll be a really nice snug fit in there. And then to make sure this side is staying nicely held, we can put a couple of clips in there as well. And that should all be sticking really nicely. We can just press and make sure we're getting a good bond. So that's our first little drawer in there. And you can see how perfectly it works with this piece here because this piece will eventually be going over the top of where we've put those pegs to hold it all together and tie everything together and make it look nice and neat as well. And if you are creating the carousel, version so just with the horses in you will be doing this exact same thing but you'll only be working with these outside pieces and those little bits like this and then the rest that fits in there is just the horse and that just fits in afterwards and you stick it on the front there on my bits I did actually cut some pieces of um, arctic blue card and fold them in the middle and then push them in so they're basically like mini card blanks that I just pushed in to add extra colour and just to make it look really lovely and neat on the inside there as well so you can definitely do that as well when you're using the actual um, carousel version so now this one has had a little bit of time to dry we are going to take off the tape from the bottom of this one and we can also take off the tape from the sides of this one and then exactly the same gluing we're going to just glue both sides and the bottom because we want the bottom to stick onto here really nicely and again we're just going to slide that in and make sure it's nicely lined up we can um, move those pegs up to hold that into place and if we're careful we can just about I think get a little peg in there just to make sure that bit is being clamped down nicely be, be careful when you're doing that section but you can just about get a peg in there to make sure that bit in the center is going to stay together nicely then we can move on to this one and again we can take the tape off of this piece here obviously when you're doing this um, you'll be making five of these sections so by the time you have got to the the fifth one of doing the bottom the first one is definitely going to be dry for you to add the top one onto it so um, I'm probably being a, a little bit ahead of time only doing two of them but it seems to be holding well enough so that's good so we're taking all that tape off again and then we're putting the glue on both sides and the bottom. You can see why I'm only showing you a couple of sections of this because it would get very repetitive for a video um, 
and I feel like if you want to see me do it again you can just like go back and rewind it and watch that section again um, if you're unsure of how it's kind of going together and you want to see it again so we can just slide that in and again we can move those clips up so they're gonna clip that bit in place and then we can be really careful and push one inside there just to hold that shut and then we can leave that to dry as well so once these are nice and dry we can remove those pegs off of there and the drawers will go in really nicely then we need to close up the top of this as well so we want to fold that over and then we also want to stick this over the top so remember um, our tape is on the professional side of this and we flipped it inside out so we're now going to push it over the top because this is going to get covered so no one's going to see uh, where we've added this glue tab on here so let's just add a little bit of glue underneath here so that it will stick really nicely and right up along that edge as well so we can press that down and then stick that glue tab over the top and again we can flip that drawer out and put a couple of pegs on here to to make that um, glue really nicely together so we've then got our closed up little section and then same on this one we can take some wet glue run it along here along those edges and take the tape off the glue tab as well and we can press that down and fold the glue tab down as well and then we can use a couple of pegs to hold that in place as well then the next part of the construction is to finish putting all of this together so basically when you're putting these together you just start with two of them and you take these little flaps here and you glue them onto the next one so when you pull the drawers out like this you're left with this section here and we want to cover up that messy bit of that section and we want to join the two of these together so that is how you join it together you glue these two together and then you use those tabs to go round and hide all of the messy workings and then when you push your drawers back in they'll stay in really nicely as well so we are going to take uh, what should we use to stick it in I think a little bit of um, red liner tape and then some glue as well because it will just help it hold in place really nicely I can't remember what I stuck the other ones together with I kind of started this construction and then left it for a little bit because I got busy with other things and I can't 100% remember how I stuck them together but I think red liner tape and some glue is a good option so we will take those bits off and fold that bit back because it's a bit long and then we'll add some glue as well just to make it so we can maneuver it around a little bit and then we can take this one here and we're going with this side where the drawers are opening so we want the side where the drawers are opening because and we want to make sure definitely that the drawers are opening at the top this way so that everything is you know opening the right way up and then we want to stick these together and we want to line up the top and bottom of the box as well as sorry I'm kind of looking at it to, for me but the top and bottom of the box as well as that side bit as well and then we can push those together and then whilst that is gluing we can take these two glue tabs here and take the excess of these off or the backing of those off and then just flip them round and you can see how nicely that hides all of it and really gives it a professional look from the front I really love that they've done that I think it's very clever the way they do things like that to hide everything and then the drawers will just close perfectly and then we just have one section left to do so let's take all of these pegs off of here and this one is going to be slightly more tricky because we have got to stick that in but we have also got to think about pushing these tabs in and pushing those two tabs in as well so we're definitely going to just stick it in first and um, and then we'll worry about the glue tabs afterwards so for this one 
I think I will go with a bit of red liner tape again. I was thinking maybe I shouldn't because it might you might get it stuck in the wrong position. But I think if we put the glue over the top of the red liner tape, um, it should be fine. And we should be able to manoeuvre it as much as we need to. So I'm going to go top and bottom of each of these pieces with the red liner tape. And then we'll add some glue as well. So we'll take the backing off of these and then add our glue on there as well. Okay, that's plenty of glue. And then we want to make sure, obviously these are on this side, so then these must go on this side, and we want to make sure all the drawers are the right way up as well. And then we could just push this in like a little wedge of cake, and it will just fit in there perfectly with our sort of five segmented but ten sided sort of piece. So we've got that done. Then we just need to flip these two drawers out and take the backing off of these two pieces and then just fold these around again and secure them in place and then the drawers will go back in and then the final two little flaps here to join the first one to the one we've just put in if I show you this up close before I fold them over look how messy that looks with all of those panels meeting but as soon as you tuck those round look how much neater that looks and it just hides all of that messiness and then when the drawers close it looks perfect all the way around and you've got these gorgeous little sections that will pull out and you can put a gift in there or chocolates or whatever you want to and I think it's just so lovely this really really lovely it is quite a bit of work it's a very um like hefty kind of item as well but i think it's really worth it it's such a beautiful design and if you get to this stage um if you haven't uh, completed a, a carousel with the bottom on and you just have the actual like this portion of it you can put that on top of here and you can do it either um, offset like this so the horses are kind of over where the joint are where the joint is or you can have them lined up so the horse is over the top of where the two drawers are sort of coming out like this if that makes sense so you can kind of twist it whichever direction you want you just don't put this base on and you just stick this one directly on top of here so um, because you can do that it also means that you can just create two of these or three of these and stack them all on top of each other as well if you're using them for a different kind of project so that is the main basis with all of the drawers in and now we just need to do stick the base on and stick the roof on as well so these are both really easy to do these ones very similar to other kind of um, die sets we've had from tonic so first of all we have five of these um, which are all of our roof pieces and I've already decorated them and everything and um, you can see where I've put the tape down the glue tab as well and so we just want to fold all of these so we're going to fold everything away from us and use our glide folder to get a really good fold on them The good thing is as well about this roof, because it is not curved, it's just uh, like tapered, you can use your beautiful patterned panels and like um, a mirror card that's a bit thicker as well. Um, and you can really go with that luxury kind of feel with all of your cardstock. You don't have to worry about being able to manipulate the card and everything, um, you know, to get it to sort of bend around, which is lovely. And the final one okay so now we've got all of them pre-folded we can just stick them all together 
literally just taking that glue tab off, sticking it to the cut line of the one next to it, lining up the points of the triangles and then the bottom piece down here. So we're lining up the points up here and then the bottom piece down there as well. We can just go all the way around with all five of those. You could actually use this to make an umbrella for something as well. If you were doing like um, a tropical party or something, you could actually make this into one of those um, cocktail umbrellas and it could be a giant cocktail umbrella or something. Um, so this is quite a cool sort of lid portion. I'm sure you could actually put this on other tonic boxes as well and I reckon you can definitely get um, like a square version of this as well. If you trim those... Um, glue tabs at the top so they're at a steeper angle I'm sure you could bring this round to be a square or like a pentagon or something as well and change the shape of this too for different boxes to add it onto so this is what your actual piece is going to look like and as I said you can turn it into an umbrella and have like a little bead at the top maybe and um, a kebab skewer coming out the bottom or if you want to make this hang like I have with the carousel before I put the last one together I took some of the the narrow um, three millimeter ribbon from tonic made a loop tied a couple of knots in the bottom and then I slid that piece with the knot in there so the knot was underneath and then I fastened the last side and then that held it into place and you would have a little hanging loop out the top of it then I don't know if you want to do it for the drawer one because it might be heavy depending on what you've put inside there but definitely for the little carousel I think it looks fantastic um, as a little hanging sort of decoration. So now we've got our lid piece that will fit on here but we need a way of attaching that because we can't just put it on there like that because it's not going to stay on there. Um, it's literally just resting on top of it. So we then flip this over and we have all of these little tabs here, which we have um, 10 of them. And then we're just going to stick them inside here. So I'm just going to use wet glue for this, but they actually fit perfectly. So one of those glue tabs fits perfectly in this section here. You line that flat bit up against this score line here, and they fit absolutely perfectly along there. So I'm just going to do that with some wet glue, and then I'll be back. Okay, so now we've got this piece with all of these glue tabs on here and these will help us stick them to the top of this box. Now for when I stuck the top of the carousel one on, I decided to use foam tape. I like to use foam tape a lot of the time actually um, to stick this kind of thing on. I just feel like it gives it a little bit more leeway just in case you weren't like exactly perfect on bits and pieces of it. I don't know why I like using it but I, I tend to... Uh, gravitate towards it a lot for this kind of thing when you've just got to stick something like this on so I'm just gonna um, if I trim this down to be narrower this is just a really low profile one it's just one millimeter um, so I'm just gonna stick a little bit of that on each of these glue tabs you can definitely just use red liner tape if you'd rather or you could use wet glue as well although I think you might have a little bit of trouble um, trying to sort of hold the glue whilst it dries so maybe a combination of tape and glue would be um, better because the, the tape would kind of grab straight away and then the glue would um, really bond over time as well but I just really like using foam tape for this sort of thing I do it quite a lot especially when like you're uh, fiddling around with a die set and like for example I know I didn't do a video on it I don't I don't think I did a video on it um no I didn't um but you know the lanterns that Tonic came out with ages ago? You could make the bottom of it into like a tamari ball um, and like put two, the two curves together and I found putting it together with foam tape was really helpful um, because it just made it a little bit easier to kind of put together. I'm not really sure why it makes it easier for me but um, I just thought I'd mention that in case any of you find it easier and you've never thought to use foam tape. So if I just remove the backing off of all of these, I am going to um, sort of squeeze it onto one side first um, and get that side to sort of stick and then I will put the rest of it down but I find it easier just to take the backing off of all of it. So I'm going to kind of, I don't know if I can show you very easily on camera but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and stick one down over here and um, kind of try and squeeze it to get it to stick really well. 
So you I really don't think you're going to be able to see this on the camera. Um, if I hold it up there maybe. So I'm trying to line up the edge of the score line of this. Uh, I think you can kind of see it from here. I'm trying to line up the edge of the score line there, you see, right to the edge of this plus the score line of the glue tabs that we stuck on. I'm trying to line that up and if I get the first one in position, you can kind of flip this back up and really press that into place so you know that at least one of them is really well stuck on that side. Then if we try and sort of flip these in, pull it over to the opposite side and try and do the same thing really lining that up well and then trying to squeeze that as much as we can without wrecking anything and yeah I think that's going to work nicely so then all of the other ones tend to kind of fall into position as you've pulled that other one across because they're they all they want to just flat back down again so they've all oops how's that one got inside the drawer They've all gone into a good position around the rest of it, I think. And we can just double check all of that. And then all of those little pieces will just hang down and kind of hide where the roof meets the top of the box. And then you can still open your drawers as well. So that is kind of getting a little bit stuck in there. Maybe we want to make them sort of stick more outwards rather than hang downwards. Or you can just fiddle around with it and you know make sure the the ruffles up when you close the drawers and stuff but that is kind of the look of it it almost sort of looks like Hagrid's hut from um, Harry Potter if you've got a Harry Potter fan you could make that look more like Hagrid's hut actually um or what else it kind of look like well I suppose it does look like a big top tent so you could make it really circus themed and have little acrobats and stuff if you want to. I'm sure there's tons of ways of kind of decorating this and, and you know making it Christmassy to be an advent calendar, making it summery perhaps, maybe it looks like um, a beach hut or something, not like a traditional British beach hut but maybe um, in like abroad and stuff it might be more like um, a thatched roof kind of beach hut with um, a bar in it or something you know you could definitely play around with this and um, turn it into different themes as well. So that is uh, the top of the box. And then for the bottom of the box, I've already stuck all of mine together. Um, so you've just got five of them all stuck around. And I'm just gonna take off the tape from two of them, I think, to start with. And then again, we're just doing the same thing. We're lining up that score line with the cut line over here. So I'm just gonna start in one place, line that up along the bottom, and then pull the next one round as well and line that up with the edge there and then we can just go all the way around just double checking that that is in the right position before I really push it into place yeah I think that's going to work well so we've got the first two on and then we can just go round and peel the backing papers or the backing liner off of the tape from the next one round or the next couple and then we can push this into place. You could do these one at a time and, and then join the little glue tabs once you've stuck them on. I just always like to completely have made the base first. I'm not sure why. I, it just seems to be the way I tend to always end up doing it. But um, I think either way works well. And we'll do the next one. And then I think for the last one we're going to have to do the four at a time. Otherwise it's going to be tricky to get into the, the tabs to take the tape off. Okay, so then we can bring this round, line them up nicely and press from underneath as well okay so that is the main sort of box completely finished and then you do also have one extra piece that you can use to decorate um which are these little pieces here which actually go across 
these portions so you can just add a little bit of extra colour onto there and it also hides um, the joins because you kind of have a join every other one because of um, it being in five different pieces so we can just put these around the edge here to finish it off even more I won't show me putting all of these on I'll just put a couple on so you can see how you can actually uh, finish the bottom of the box off so I hope you enjoyed this construction video looking at the Big Top Carousel gift box from Tonic's birthday week for 2020 and um, hopefully that was helpful for seeing how this kind of goes together if you got confused by the instructions at all um, and you know it might give you like a design idea as well perhaps too um, and you can see how easy the horse one is to go together as well because you don't have all of these draw pieces to contend with you're literally just cutting five of the horses out um, and ten of these little up and down pieces to secure them into place so really really cute I really love the carousel version and I love that it's versatile and that you can turn it into a gift box as well and you can definitely extend this and make it much taller and you can also combine the two of them together which is lovely as well and you can actually add a hanging tab to the carousel too which is fantastic so hope you enjoyed the video hope it was helpful and helped you put yours together whether you're watching this as this launches or whether you're watching this a little bit after the time and you've found your die set in your stash and you're coming back to watch it um, I hope it was helpful. So so if you're interested in getting hold of this die set, there will be my up close video um, on this die set as well, which should have gone up before this one, so you would have already seen it. Um, and if you want to get hold of it, then I will leave a link to it below the video. And I really appreciate you taking the time to click on my affiliate links as well. Really, It really means a lot to me that you actually go ahead and, and click on them and purchase through them. So um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've been enjoying birthday week, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.